Hi, my name is Vera and I'm a baby wearing enthusiast and I'm going to show you how to wear a newborn baby in a style of wrap that is a long piece of fabric. Uh, you may have one of these already. You can google the brand of uh, wrap that you have and you can see a tutorial from the company. Uh, but basically they're, they're a little bit stretchy, sometimes jersey material and very, very long. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, they generally have something that shows you where the middle part is, the tag or the brand logo. That's how you know where to start. You can put it up against your belly, just under your chest. You don't have to leave a lot of slack because your newborn baby is not going to take up too much space and their weight will make it too loose. So pretty snug. And then in the back, we're going to crisscross it and put it up over our shoulder. And then both of these flaps will come down through the front piece. We're going to cross it again and then tie it. And I'm going to tie it twice, but I'll come back to this after for my own comfort. Okay, so now baby's ready to come in. We've got two flaps. The baby's going to come into the bottom flap first and then the top flap. So I recommend that when we bring baby up, we're going to bring the baby to the shoulder away from where we're first going in, okay? So my baby's been safely waiting for me to the side. Hello, baby. You're so patient. So I'm gonna bring the baby up to this shoulder. If your baby still likes to have their legs folded up, that's fine. You don't have to force the legs up. Some babies, especially if they're born a little bit before uh, they were intended to, will still love to have their legs folded up in a froggy-like position. And basically that's creating, as long as we have an M shape created with the baby's legs. So here is like boop, 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 boop. So whether it's to have their legs folded up or to have their legs out, we always want the hips to be a little lower than the uh, knees, okay? So in this case with my baby, I'm gonna leave the legs out. So I can actually even put my hand through this flap to feed the baby's leg down. And now this part comes over their bum and your baby will have a little more weight than my doll, but the bum comes over here. See how I've replaced my hand? So we're always holding baby until the baby is secure in the wrap. And now I take my second flap and again, I go over the leg and secure it over the baby's bum. And again, your baby's weight will just sink the baby right down into there. We always wanna be sure that baby has a clear airway to breathe like that. You can use these flaps to hold baby's head in place. And then this last part comes all the way up over the entire baby. You can cover their feet if it's cold outside. You don't have to if you don't want to. Baby should be able to kiss the top of baby's head. Always see that they have a clear airway. If the baby is too low, that's not safe. If the baby is too high, it won't be comfortable. Once your baby is in, you can now go back to this original tie and adjust it for your own comfort, because if you have a nice support on the back, it will be a lot more comfortable. And mine is long enough that I can tie it in the front. Baby's happy, nice and snug. You've got your hands free. There you go.